I'm running out of ideas. So I gave an AI a long list of Super Mario Odyssey YouTube videos and told it to make its own. Most of what it gave me was absolute junk like flirting with the worst Mario speedrunners or Mario Odyssey speedrun challenge, but I can't do it. However, every once in a while, there was a fun idea I could not resist trying. I tried to make a free speedrun and failed. All right, I can work with that. We'll do a speedrun where each time I bonk, take damage, or collect a coin, I'll owe my Twitch chat, let's say, $2. Additionally, I'll pay an extra $2 for each minute the speedrun takes me over one hour and five minutes. This way, I'm not encouraged to play slowly to save money. I'm definitely nervous now that I'm starting this. <laughs> Like $2 per thing doesn't seem like a lot, but that can definitely add up. Gosh dang it. The fail part is now true. I mean, it was inevitable. There's no way I get under a 105 while trying to do bonkless, coinless, and damageless. Am I counting purples? I mean, a coin's a coin. Gosh dang it. Oh, of course he gives me a coin. All right, whatever. We're in the Lost Kingdom. About 24 minutes in. All right, well, that's eight more dollars. So I think we're at $20. <laughs> that was a terrible sequence of events. Yeah, it happens. Um... Was that just five coins? I think it was. I think I just went from 26 to 38. All right, then. Is that three coins? I wasn't thinking. I forgot there were coins up there. Honestly, I don't think Bowser's Kingdom is going to be that hard. And same with Moon. I think we might mostly be in the clear with $56 as long as I don't bonk. Oh, gosh dang it. All right, well, 58. 59 or 60. Why did the Pokey die twice? Mandatory coin coming soon. You know, I'll take the mandatory coin. Oh, frick, that was two. What was that about Bowser being easy? All right, I forgot that Moon Shards and Bowser's is one of the hardest parts in a coinless run. Just a, a small miscalculation on my part. Am I gonna get under 114? I think I just barely am. I'm gonna save myself two bucks. All right, so that brings us at... Oh, the timer didn't stop, frick. Uh, 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 there we go. All right, well, I guess that's an extra $2. <laughs> I finished the run in one hour and 14 minutes, owing my Twitch chat $88, which we decided to round up to 90 total. All right, next run. This run of Mario Odyssey meets Guinness World Records. This one's actually really interesting because there is actually an official speedrun category for Super Mario Odyssey that can get you a Guinness World Record. And for some stupid reason, it's the fastest time to beat all six boss rematches in Super Mario Odyssey. This is in reference to those fights you do in Mushroom Kingdom after beating the game. This challenge was presented by speedrun.com in collaboration with Guinness back in 2020 with the winner being speedrunner Hey There Cool, who got a time of 12 minutes and 30 seconds. Following the order of the AI, I gave the run a shot myself and got a time of 14 minutes and 48 seconds. Needless to say, I did not get the world record. Super Mario Odyssey speedrun while carrying a potato? I mean, uh... Sure, okay. But yeah, um, this is unironically what the AI gave me. Like, this is something that it generated, and I was like, okay, but what if I actually did that? I'll try and keep it on the camera at all times. This is so hard, because I have to have, like, three fingers to, like, support the potato. The potato's an icon. Do you guys want to give the potato a name? Jerry? It does kind of look like a Jerry. <laughs> I can see my webcam right now. And like, this is just so stupid. There is an argument to be made that you could have bought literally any other potato and it would have been smaller and easier to hold. Yeah, but this has like the classic potato shape. Like, look, it, you look at this and like, besides the fact that it's shiny because it's wrapped in plastic, like this is a potato, undoubtedly. There's a poll going for the name. What what name is winning right now? Jerry won, all right, it's Jerry the potato. How heavy? I don't know, it's a big potato though. So it's ready in 10 to 11 minutes. Oh, net WT, 14 ounces, 396 grams. Just short of a pound, what the heck? Chat, should I give the potato a kiss? <laughs> Chat, if I do this, I will be the first person to clear a Super Mario Odyssey while holding a potato the entire time. World's first right here. Yeah, I do prefer to put, hold uh, potatoes and play SMO. It's my favorite pastime. We start a 
Fun to support Jerry's rent and a pot on the shelf behind you. No, I am not chat. It's a potato. Chat gets emotionally attached too quickly. Yeah, chat did name the potato. Should I try and be the world's first person to do snow dram while holding a potato? All right, this is for world's first. Yes! There we go, chat. World's first snow dram while carrot while holding a potato. Let's go! Oh no. Oh no. I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. No! The hitbox screwed me! Imagine dying in Spewer. Imagine having not beaten Mario Odyssey while holding a potato the whole time. It's not gonna be long before I'm the world's first. Pretty soon Jerry will be a household name, maybe. Setting a lot of world records today? Yeah, I will. Pretty, pretty humble about it, honestly. Hey, first try moon skip with a potato. Let's go. Oh, well, I guess we're carrying a potato. All right, come on. We're so close. We're so close. I almost don't have to carry the potato anymore. Like I have over a pound of stuff in my hands right now, chat. So every time I want to shake the controller, I'm shaking like a pound of just stuff. Please just hit it. I want to stop shaking the controller. There it is. Yes. <laughs> We're done! On 1946, Super Mario Odyssey while carrying a potato. It's been done. World's first! I was here! Truly, this date will go down in the history books. And this would be the last time Twitch chat sees Jerry. No, we're not trash in Mario Odyssey. For this one, I decided to commission the mod maker GR Animated to turn Mario into a trash can. This way, during my speedruns, whenever I make mistakes, I can remember I'm not garbage at the game, Mario is. Mario Odyssey, but but the Mario have the gravity off. For this one, I reached out to a friend and modder, Amethyst, to get a mod that gave the entire game moon gravity. I played through the mod and beat it with a time of 1 hour, 17 minutes, and 5 seconds, but but the Mario truly didn't have the gravity off. He was still being pulled back towards the ground, so Amethyst told me she could make it so the game truly had no gravity. Starting it up, you'll immediately notice that Mario is just floating everywhere. Even if we're on the ground, we don't actually walk on it. Not to mention, if we get any upwards momentum, we'll just keep going up. The only way we can push ourselves back down is by ground pounding. This makes the game incredibly easy to softlock. As an example, if at any point we dive, we're softlocked. This is because diving gives us upward momentum and we can't cancel the dive animation with a ground pound, so we're just not coming back down. Cap Kingdom was pretty easy because we could literally fly to the end. Cascade Kingdom wasn't too bad either, but we did find another soft block. Apparently if you get bubbled at any point, which can happen if you go too high in a boss fight, the game soft locks. We beat her the second time and continued towards the next kingdom. Sand, lake, and wooded all follow a similar pattern of floating slowly towards moons while Cloud Kingdom well all right bowser i'm coming watch out <laughs> that's so menacing <laughs> oh my gosh mario's just stuck in the animation from like after he punches bowser <laughs> why is that so funny this run was fairly slow but it was honestly really really easy well that was until we got to snow kingdom Well, um, see, this is exactly what I asked about Amethyst. This is, this is why I asked. I can fix this. Give me two seconds. Well, uh, I guess we'll be waiting here for a while. Chat, I think I saw Mario move. I'm just kidding. That was a lie. I didn't see Mario move. Almost done. Wait, what the heck? How'd you almost fix it? There's just going to be nine moons where Mario spawns. I could, I would not be happier if that happened. That'd be so funny. Whoa, chat, look at that. Whoa! Oh my gosh, we're so good! I'm so good at the game! Did you guys see that insane glitch setup? That's why we were falling for so long. Oh, we even got an extra moon. That's just how good we are. Thank you, Amethyst. <laughs> Who is the, this fur and why is he a big fat cheater? Hey, it's not my fault. I couldn't go in the, the snow town. It's not cheating if God gives it to you. <laughs> yeah, chat, that was a gift from God.
The rest of the run was pretty straightforward and I was able to finish the challenge in 1 hour, 56 minutes, and 46 seconds. This Redditor made his own Mario Odyssey custom kingdom, so I couldn't actually find any custom kingdom on Reddit, but I did find this really cool port of Flip Swap Galaxy from Mario Galaxy 2 by Fruity Loops and Chico on Game Banana. Let's try it out. Yeah, this is like honestly so cool because it moves when you jump. SMO modders are wild. Oh, well, I died. Out of like all the level ports I've tried from galaxy levels, this is definitely one of like the coolest ones I've, I've seen. Oh, this is terrifying. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. All right. I'm assuming this takes me out of the sub area. Yeah, okay. Oh no, now there's purples. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I was done. What the heck? Wait, there's a timer too. It's in the bottom left corner. Here, here, here. See, there's a timer. Look, that's so cool. And it even says how many purples I have. It's just like a galaxy level. That's insane. Oh, this jump was hard. I don't want to have to do it again. No, I missed the purple and I died. Maybe if I do a, I do a long jump there instead. Yeah, long jump worked perfectly. Okay, awesome. All right, we have like a bit over two minutes left. 39 purple, so we're still missing a ton. Okay. I, I'm like in super focus mode right now. Oh my gosh, these dry bones are terrifying. All right, they died. That's good, that's good, that's good. Dry bones will like forever be my least favorite enemy in Mario games. And it's levels like this that remind me of it. Uh, but we're doing we're doing fine so far. We're doing fine so far. No, we were so close. 89 out of 100. It's it's so hard to try and like plan a jump on the dry bones to get rid of them because that's like what I want to do. Oh, but we're getting through. We're getting through. We're getting through. Come on, come on, please. Oh, I thought I was gonna miss one for a second. All right, with a minute to spare, we did it. Oh, that was really cool. Oh, that was so cool. Mario Odyssey, but I'm fast. Doing only the optional challenges in the game. This is another interesting one. We can try and beat Mario Odyssey by doing the least amount of story that we possibly can. The first story moon appears in Cascade Kingdom and it's known as our first power moon. We can skip it by doing a trick cleverly named first moon skip and go straight to the Madame Brutal boss fight. While this does force us to collect her story moon, it does enable us to leave the kingdom while having only completed half of the story. Sand Lake and Wooded Kingdom are all filled with enough easily accessible moons to ignore the story. This is followed by Cloud Kingdom where we're forced to fight Bowser. No possible story skip there, but we at least don't get a story moon out of it. In Metro Kingdom, we unfortunately have to defeat Mecha Wiggler to collect enough moons to leave. You might be thinking we could do a CRC to reach daytime early, but this requires us to complete some of the story in Sand Kingdom, so that won't help us. Things are super easy until we reach Luncheon Kingdom where it is possible to skip the very first Spewart fight. We can do this with a precise jump around his arena and collect enough moons to leave without having completed any of the story. The rest of the run is beating the dragon in Ruin, followed through doing the entire story in Bowser's Kingdom, and doing Moon Skip to skip the Moon Cave. Throughout the run, we only have to complete a total of seven story objectives that grant us moons, which is a lot lower than I would have expected. The Mario Odyssey speedrun with the worst ending of all time. What is the worst way to end a Mario Odyssey speedrun? Death. My, my first thought was death. Nobody's saved, Mario's gone, we're done. But that's still sort of an exciting way to end it, so I don't know if that'd be the worst way. How about we ask the AI? Maybe the worst way to end a Super Mario Odyssey speedrun would be for the player to find themselves in a dreamlike state, unable to awaken before inevitably getting sucked into the warp in space-time at the end. After all, you don't get to use your special ability to turn back time when you're stuck in another dimension. I guess I get trapped in a 2D section? 2D percent? So yeah, we're gonna get to a 2D section as fast as possible. Um, yeah, I, I don't understand the bot. The first 2D section in the game is in Cascade Kingdom. So this, this speedrun is essentially just going to be us getting to Cascade Kingdom. It's coming up. We're almost in the 2D. Come on, cutscene faster. In time, we did it. And that was honestly the worst speedrun I've ever done. That sucked. That was so stupid.